Hello guys, my name is Ovidio Dendrino and I'm gonna show you how you can download mods for Icom. It's actually extraordinarily easy. So let's begin. Uh, first, 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 uh, we go to Workshop on Steam, we go check uh, the mods, we press for example on this one and we press subscribe. Now we wait for it to download. Uh, we wait for it to download. There you go. And after we did that, we launch PyCom. Oh, also, actually, one more thing. Uh, if you go into Properties, uh, Installed Files, I recommend you guys make a .rar file of everything before downloading a mod. So, for example, if a mod breaks PyCom, you can just reverse uh, reverse it. Or you can also press on Verify Integrity of the file. And that also uh, fixes PyCom in case a mod breaks PyCom. Anyway, we press OK. We press Mods. And uh, we press on Check Subscribe Mods. This is like the PyCom Mod Hub. We select the ones we want, for example, we download the, the, the default animations mod, which is made by me. We press apply mod, and there you go. We, we now have the mod installed. We press PyCom and now the mod works. Now let me help you guys upload a PyCom mod. It's very, very easy. You press an upload, and there you go, we have this cool thing. Uh, let's, for example, say that we want to publish an animation mod create item and now we have an animation one. Uh, in workshop content, now we can put a picture right here. One sec, one sec. There you go. We can put a photo here. So we can write it here, photo.png. There you go, we have uh, animation mod. Uh, description tags. Um, for the tags, you can put skin tag because we're making an animation mod that only changes skin. Uh, you, you can also put voice lines uh, if uh, your mod changes the voice lines as well. Custom commands if your mod uh, introduces custom commands or voice assistant if uh, your mod has all of uh, these three above. One more cool thing about PyCom is that you can do mods very, very easy. For example, if you want to make a skin mod, you just replace this, uh, this like files right here. Uh, if you want to make uh, a mod that replaces PyCom's voice lines, you just replace these audios, like all of them, etc. We have a very, very cool modding documentation right here that explains literally everything. Anyway, let's say that we made a mod, we copy the, the animations that we did into uh, Steam Workshop, Upload work animation mod. We named it animation mod. There you go. We now have all the animations that we put. Also, we need we need to make a document called mod name. Oops, mod name, and we name it um, called Pycom animation mod. Uh, this is important, so our uh, mod hub picks it up. After we did that, and put the skin tag and whatever, we uh, put it to public, and submit animation mode. And there you go. Now we have a, a, a published animation mode. To verify it, it's very, very easy. You go on Steam, uh, profile, okay, your profile, workshop items, and there you go. You can see here what people are saying about your mod, how many downloads you have, you can change more stuff, like edit the name or more. But yeah, it's pretty pretty easy and pretty cool. I cannot wait uh, to see what mods you guys gonna make. That's it for today. See ya!